Hi, thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot and I'm Diana. This reading is for the astrological sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or anywhere in your birth chart that Scorpio might appear. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to take just a second and invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, my PayPal, and links to some really cool things on Amazon. I think you guys will like. Okay, so this reading is for May 21st through 31st, 2020. Keeping in mind that all tarot readings are timeless. So even though you uh, might come across this a week, month, or even a year from now, if you feel drawn to watch it, most likely you'll find a message for you within the reading. And if you feel like it doesn't completely resonate with you, uh, just consider uh, your other planetary placements and listen to those signs as well for additional messages. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and calibrate these cards to the astrological sign of Scorpio. And ask our angels, guides, and ancestors for any love messages for Scorpio for May 21st through 31st. Spirit, what love messages do you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for May 21st through 31st, 2020? Spirit, what love messages do you have for Scorpio, May 21st through 31st, 2020? Right. One more time. Okay. All right, I'm going to divide these into three stacks here. One two, three. All right. Uh, card on the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords. Now, the Eight of Swords is the card that is the overall energy for your spread. And the Eight of Swords talks about uh, that cage. It talks about that mental prison. It can be an actual prison, but probably not. Um, if you are in a position where uh, you feel trapped, but it's you feel trapped because you're afraid to move forward is what this is about. Uh, the only thing that's holding you back is yourself. And sometimes you have to uh, take that chance and go ahead and be brave and just move forward, okay? All right, now for those of you who are new here, I do four columns. The first, col the first column is for you, uh, what you might have recently been dealing with, things you're currently experiencing, and things and people and situations that are coming towards you. The second column is your um, beloved, your twin flame, your soulmate, karmic partner. Uh, this could be somebody that you just met. Uh, it could be an ex that you want to reconnect with. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm so about to sneeze. Okay, and the third column is about obstacles and challenges, all right? Um, fears, anxieties, things like that that are keeping it, keeping you back, that are keeping you from moving forward, whatever your blockages are. And in the last column, it is about... Your outcome. <laughs> My brain just quit working for an entire two seconds there. All right. All right. So this is what's been going on. So, you know, you have been in a lot of situations where there's been uh, like a little hurt and petty arguing and um, miscommunication with people that's that's caused, causing things. And it's keep, like I said, it's keeping you from moving forward in your life. It's making you like super aware of red flags. You're a person that doesn't want that chaos and that drama in your life. It's time to like let your hair down and relax and, and and uh, welcome in all these new things. You know, you're completely in control of how you act and react when people confront you or want to start a bunch of mess in your life. You don't have to entertain it. You don't have to respond, okay? Uh, it's, it's time for you, instead of being stuck there and feeling like a victim, you know, and making it where you're afraid to move forward and start new relationships, it's really time to leave that all, all behind you. Now, the second column, like I said, is for your person, and they may have been somebody that has hurt you and has, uh, you know, lied and manipulated, uh, cheated, 
um, disrespected you. Uh, the Seven of Swords is something that's really sneaky. They like to do things and feel like they got away with it. They, they're really, really smug when it comes to this. This is a person who also, these are both sevens here, all right? It's about, they're, they're looking at all these things that are offered to them. Uh, you know, I said this in one of my readings recently about the uh, card from the Thoth deck. And in it, you see a bunch of green, murky, muddy looking, nasty water flowing from one cup to the other. This is where, you know, they may have had other uh, options that they were entertaining uh, and everything just gets all murky and gross and uh, cesspool-like and it's really not anything, you, you know, they think they're the proud owner of all these people who are admiring them when really it's just a bunch of uh, really grossness in my opinion. It's Kind of what's going on it's not something that you really want to be a part of so when they uh guilt trip you or uh, you know try to act like everything is your fault or they deny and they lie and they deceive and they try to convince you that these things aren't going on that's all it is is it's, it's lies this is the person that has hurt you this is your your blockages and your challenges, fears and anxieties, and it's hurt you so much. It's caused you a lot of really sleepless nights as far as, uh, you know, moving forward. And, you know, we all need our beauty rest. We all need that eight hours a night in order for our brains to function at our optimal. And there is no, <laughs> there's no use losing sleep over this person right here because they didn't have your best interests at heart however you do and when you leave this behind you have this new beginning that is waiting for you okay so in the outcome we have the knight of cups as well as the nine of cups and you know this tells me that you know once you decide to make this this brand new start and make this brand new change you do have everything that you need as far as uh, the progress that you've made in your life and, and offering that to somebody. You are in a position where, uh, you know, you don't have your 10th cup yet, but you have this uh, ability that you are going to put that out there into the world and make your new beginning. It's, you're going to you're gonna be presenting your best and optimal self to the world and that is exactly what you're going to uh, attract back to you. Now in the, same, in the, in the um, first column that pertains to you, we have that Ten of Swords as well as the Fool. In your partner's column, we have the Page of Swords as well as the Eight of Cups. Obstacles and challenges, fears and anxieties, you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. That's awesome. And in your outcome, we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So, yeah, you know, you have that brand new beginning that you're starting like that, like that, uh, star you had so you're right back at the beginning of your journey as the fool here uh it, it comes after the world and it comes before the first card and you know what the um this you're going to be able to start brand new it's like your slate's clean you're putting all that behind and the ten of swords although it looks horrible and like you've been back, backstabbed and betrayed, in which you have, it, the 10 represents that that is the end of that cycle. That's going to be no more. It's not going to be even something that you consider allowing in your new future that you're building for yourself. Okay, so when we get to your partner, of course, you know, they kind of want to spy on you. They kind of want to open those lines of communications. This has been seen time and time and time again in millions of relationships all over when you finally have enough of somebody uh, disrespecting you and treating you bad and you let them know about it. Uh, they want you back. <laughs> Uh, they can't stand the fact that they got walked out on or they got left behind or that you tell them that you recognize them as not such a great person and uh, that you are walking away from the relationship. But just know that they are still continuing to watch, whether it's through social media, asking friends about you or whatever. So with your obstacles and challenges, you have this opportunity, okay, to move forward. But again, you know, you have this nine of swords and you had this nine of wands at the beginning of your 
your reading, which shows me like you're kind of like frozen like a, a deer in the headlight kind of thing. You're having these opportunities that are presenting to, to you. And, you know, in order to uh, make the best of them, you're going to have to grab them. Just grab them just like the, this hand is grabbing the sword. And then you will find that you're going to be successful at these. There's no need in worrying about these type of outcomes because you're creating it yourself. And enter into your life, here comes this Queen of Pentacles, and there's this King of Pentacles as well. So this is representing the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine in this new relationship that it's going to present itself to you. And, you know, this is most likely an Earth sign. This is Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus energy coming in. And this is somebody that's going to offer you that grounding and that stability in your life that you really, really need. Okay, so when we get to the last set of four columns, we have that two of pentacles as well as the ten of wands. Okay. And your partner, we have that queen of wands in the death card. And in your obstacles and challenges, we have the strength as well as the three of wands. And in your outcome, we have two of cups and we have the nine of pentacles. So with this two of Pentacles as well as this Ten of Wands, definitely, uh, you know, entering into your new life that you're starting completely over. If you continue to carry these with you, people are going to continue to see that you're distracted and that maybe you're not putting your all into something, okay? It's going to make you uh, appear to be a little bit self-centered and arrogant, and that's not ever really a good thing. It's really and truly time to lay these cards down. Where did that ace go? I had just a minute ago. Okay, here it is. Now, I say this all the time. All right, here's, here's the opportunity the universe is offer, offering you. And you have this little doorway. You can't walk through that doorway while you're holding. They, they're not going to fit, okay? And don't even think about, you know, lowering them down and taking it with you because that's not, that's not something good that you want to do. Okay. Now, in your obstacles and challenges, we have the strength card as well as the three of wands. And this tells me, yeah, you're going to have to, you're really going to have to uh, be brave. You're going to have to uh, step out of your comfort zone. You've done the work. You are, uh, you know, you're leaving these things behind. And now it's time for you to uh, wait for those ships to come in. You've had that offer of love with that king of pentacles or that queen of pentacles uh, just a little while ago in your um, outcome. And uh, it's there for you. Whenever you are ready to grasp that, that Ace of Pentacles, that's the doorway to this relationship right here. And you could, uh, you know, you could grasp that opportunity. Being Pentacles, it could have something to do with work or a new job that's coming in. And you might meet this person while you are at work. And so when we get to your outcome we have the nine of pentacles as well as the two of cups and this is an experience where when you do enter this relationship this is going to enable you to evolve the nine of pentacles is very much like the empress it's, she's got a little more work to do on herself and this and this new relationship that uh you're finding with this king of pentacles or queen of pentacles is that you're going to find that you're equally balanced okay just just like the queen is counterpart to the king here. You're finding your person that will eventually be your counterpart. You just continue to do that work and you continue to do that personal growth on yourself. And you'll find that all of these things are going to fall into place. So don't be afraid to uh, step into the future and uh, make things happen. Okay? All right. Scorpio, I love you guys. And uh, I just want to take a second and thank you all so very much for all of your kind words, comments, uh, shares, and subscribes. It means so much to me, and I would like to take a moment and let you guys know how much I appreciate you. And if you skip over to the community tab, there's a post there about a giveaway. Just uh, like that post and underneath it, comment done, and I'll know to include you in the drawing, which will be on uh, May 31st. All right, guys. I love you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.